Subscribers and fans, Iceman here. And yesterday I did this video on King Ghidra and how his origins or his presentation anyway to the legendary universe is going to go. He's going to be found in freaking Antarctica. It's going to be awesome. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. But check this out. Here's some information on Rodan or what seems to be Rodan. Now, this took place in 1991. Check this out. Here's the description on the official website on a kaiju that they discovered, or so they think. Check it out. A covert monarch team establishes a quarantine zone around the island's dormant volcano under the guise of environmental research. Over the coming years, what began as a small scientific outpost will expand to become a full containment facility around the mouth of the volcano. So there's something going on at this volcano, and it seems as if there might be something lurking in there. And I'm almost damn positive it's going to be Rodan, because we know Rodan's going to be in the film. And there's also other information on Mothra in a temple. I'll make a video on that coming up soon here. This is all for the upcoming film Godzilla, King of the Monsters, so in 2019. So I'm damn excited. And here's a uh, description of Rodan on the wiki page. Check it out. Rodan is a giant Tronodon kaiju created by Toho that first appeared in the 1956 Toho film Rodan and made his first appearance alongside Godzilla in the 1964 Godzilla film Ghidra, the Three-Headed Monster. So what might awaken Rodan is the question. Like we know that Ghidra is in Antarctica somewhere, and it's almost a damn sure thing that it's going to melt away, or he's going to get out of his containment, and he's going to start causing havoc and hell upon the earth. I'm pretty excited for that as well. But more so is that Godzilla obviously is going to fight Ghidra in this upcoming film, and Ghidra has always been an extremely powerful kaiju. In one of the occurrences, it took Godzilla. And Gyrus, uh, I think it was Mothra and Rodan as well, and Gorosaurus to help beat the shit out of King Ghidra, the three-headed dragon. And Ghidra's always been more large than Godzilla. It's been larger, taller, and all that shit. Extremely powerful. So I think once Ghidra gets out of his isolation, he's going to cause a lot of hell. And somehow these other kaiju are going to be awakened. I'm not sure how exactly, but Rodan is probably going to come to the sense that the Earth is in danger because we know that Ghidra despises the Earth and humanity in all of the Earth's inhabitants because he's not really from around here. You know, he probably crashed into the freaking regions in Antarctica a long time ago. Hopefully we'll find out more of this as the film progresses. But they're all three gonna fight, I imagine. Godzilla, Mothra, and Rodan teaming against Ghidra. But what the hell is gonna awaken Rodan from this volcano? Maybe something that Ghidra does is going to stir up the environmental variables that coincide with the volcano erupting. Rodan, hiding inside of this volcano, is going to sense that it's about to erupt. So he comes out. Something that Ghidorah has done. Or something going on in the environment. Perhaps the same effect that's going to melt the ice away. Who knows? But, but I'm interested to see how they go about to do this in the film. And Mothra will probably be awakened by, like, the freaking temple people or something like that. Because Mothra usually comes to the temple, right? And there's those folks who... Um, Perhaps a worship her in a sense. I'm not quite sure, but it's going to go down. And I'm damn excited to see this happen and to see this occur in this Godzilla 2019 film. But what do you guys think? I mean, this has got to be Rodan hanging out in this volcano. And how do you think Rodan is going to emerge from this? What do you think is going to be the cause 
of Rodan coming out to fight? Let me know in the comments section below. And like this damn video if you haven't yet. For I am the Iceman. More videos to come. Peace be with you. <laughs>